Cancel culture. <laughs> Starting to resemble the Chinese Cultural Revolution. Alright, so there's this whole new coin term that I ironically learned from Tommy Lahren. That is referred to as cancel culture. And is reversing the old saying of just because you are offended, it doesn't make you right. And turning it into, if you are offended, you are right. Everyone has to walk on eggshells as to not offend other people. And if it does, oh yes, if it does offend you. Then, everyone should cancel it, write about it, cry about it, protest it, make some sort of viral hashtag about it on Twitter, blackball it, boycott it, etc, etc. It basically is saying if you are upset over something, no matter how small, stupid, or retarded it is, if you are by, if indefinitely, whatever, offended by it in one way or the other, don't agree with it, someone or something, they and are entitled to having an all-time ultimate hissy fit and go all out temper tantrum until it's canceled slash or, and or, you have it your way. Get it your way. Furthermore, this is being not only implemented, but wholly encouraged. It's a dangerous thing to encourage culture, or cancel culture. It's only to the detriment to society, and only indoctrinates immaturity and hate. Not to mention just overall ignorant stupidity, culturally, at least, to humans. So I would just say, have a bit of fucking dignity and some fucking self-respect. We are de-evolutionalizing right now. We are going from mature, hard-working 1950s folk to fucking crybabies on the floor throwing a temper tantrum because we're not getting our way. That is what we have devolved down to. From these 1950s adults and then just going down the chart. Growing smaller, getting smaller, younger, 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 and now 2020 we're, it's just like a bunch of fucking infants throwing hissy fits in adult bodies. Have some fucking self-respect and show some dignity. Until next time.